hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by selective breeding, which is also called artificial selection. You should then be able to explain the impact of selective breeding of food plants and domesticated animals. And finally, you should be able to describe the disadvantages of selective breeding. I'm showing you here a wolf. Wolves are wild animals which live in packs. Now, thousands of years ago, humans realised that wolves are actually very useful animals. For example, a wolf can alert you if a threat is approaching, or protect you against attack. A wolf can also help keep you warm, or keep you company. So humans took wolves, and by using the process of selective breeding over thousands of years, produced the dogs that we see today. Now, there are four examples of selective breeding that you need to be able to describe. Domestic dogs have been selectively bred to have a gentle nature. Food crops such as wheat have been selectively bred to be resistant to disease. Animals such as cows have been selectively bred to produce more meat or milk. And finally, certain plants have been selectively bred to produce large or unusual flowers. In the exam, you could be asked to describe how selective breeding is carried out. So we're going to look at that now, and you need to learn these stages. Imagine that we wanted to breed large cows for meat. First, we take a mixed population of cows and select the largest male and female. We then breed these together. As we've seen, sexual reproduction produces variation in the offspring, so the offspring will be a mixture of larger animals and smaller animals. We select the largest male and female offspring and breed these together. And we continue doing this over many generations, until all the offspring are large. Now, there's one big problem with selective breeding. If we breed together closely related animals or plants, then we can get inbreeding. Inbreeding can cause some breeds to be prone to disease or inherited defects. And I'm showing you an example here. Dog breeds have been selectively bred for hundreds of generations, and many dog breeds develop inherited disorders, such as joint problems, heart disease, or epilepsy. Remember that you'll find plenty of questions on selective breeding in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.